Dear future generations, in the past, people would never have believed that in the future there would be wars, hunger, racism, and misery. They would never have believed that younger generations would forget their history, culture, and traditions. Our ancestors left us a brilliant world with beautiful natural scenery, full of unique and rich civilizations, full of love and happiness. Unfortunately, things are different nowadays. Technology has developed to such a great extent that it helps us in our daily lives, but sometimes it is also misused and turned against us. Moreover, our modern world suffers from racism and injustice. These beautiful natural landscapes, these unique cultures, and the love that can still be found in the common man are in danger of becoming extinct. Our future looks bleak, but that does not prevent us from hoping and fighting for a better world. The first thing that comes to mind is a future without wars. The ancient Greek poet Pindaros once said, Gliki dapiro polemos, that is, war is sweet to those who have not experienced it. So I, too, call for a future without discord, hatred, wars, and disasters. Many lives have been lost because of these wars, and many innocent people have lost their smiles. I want a future without violence, trauma, and racism. I hope that in the future, some people will come to their senses and realize that there are no winners and losers in war. Only miserable people, as ancient Greek historian Herodotus said, no man is so foolish to desire war more than peace, for in peace sons bury their fathers, but in war fathers bury their sons. I envision a future with incredibly advanced and sophisticated technology to make life easier for people in many areas. I imagine that there will be no locks and keys but special buttons will be used so that thieves cannot enter houses. The roads will be safer and bigger and there will be environmentally friendly electric cars which will be driven automatically. In this way, mistakes will be avoided. We will also have fewer accidents and at the same time protect the environment. Also, in this way, People who have physical difficulties will be able to go from place to place without fear. Moreover, in the future, several professions will be made easier for humans with the help of technology, such as the professions of miners and bricklayers, which require manual, manual work under difficult conditions. Clothes and fashion will change dramatically. I believe that there will be clothes that will keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. That way, people won't die from extreme weather conditions. There will be no homeless people since more houses will be built with the help of specialized technology. I imagine our future with better health care and more treatments that combat deadly diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. I imagine that the surgeons will be replaced by special robots programmed to perform surgeries under the supervision of nurses. Also, there will be no need for organ donors as scientists and doctors will create ready-made organs into which blood will circulate and have the same functions as the living organ 
they are replacing. There will be innumerable discoveries in the future and we will learn things that will certainly change the way we view our world. They may even be exploration of 95% of the oceans, resulting in the discovery of new species of animals and plants that would never have believed they existed. We will find more kinds of fruits and vegetables that contain more nutrients. Moreover, scientists will be able to bring back to life animals that are now extinct and protect those that are endangered. The loss of biodiversity has a major impact not only to natural ecosystems but also on humans themselves. As American biologist and author Rachel Carson said, but man is a part of nature and his war against nature is inevitably a war against himself. We will succeed in discovering new solar systems and new planets with condition suitable for living. We'll even be closer to finding out if there is life on other planets. At long last, schools will teach children more about their history and culture. The school system will change and children will draw pictures and make art projects about world peace. Children will come closer to their own culture, learn to compromise and accept the right to be different so that our society will become better. In this way, parents will not fear that their children will be subjected to racism. Children will be able to eat their traditional foods at school without fearing that they will be made fun of. The school system will change and education will be more attractive to students so that they will pass their exams and know what they want to do in their future lives. In conclusion, if children were taught from an early age to respect others and behave properly, the future will look brighter and more auspicious. In the future, people will join forces to combat every difficulty that humanity will face. Scientists will pull their ideas and harness technology to solve the global problems mankind has been facing for centuries, such as hunger and poverty. We will ensure a better distribution of resources on the planet. We will learn to depend on renewable energy sources, such as the sun, to reverse the problem of climate change and take coordinated decisions and measures to protect the environment. People at last will stop turning against each other and the world peace will prevail. As the ancient Greek philosopher Isiodos said, peace is the loving mother of the earth. I wonder what our society would be like had we implemented all these things long ago. How many lives would have been saved if man had not been thinking so selfishly? These questions keep coming into my mind again and again. In the future, will things get better or worse for us? What I do know is that we will not sit with folded hands and will help in any way we can to improve our society. We are also counting on you, the future generations, not to repeat the mistakes of the past. With all my love, sunshine.